Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Made in Japan. Here with a game from Coracell Technologies and published by Arc System Works, who you know well for their amazing work on the Persona Arena series and on Blaz Blue and on, well, to be honest, what we recognize them for is a lot of their actual beat em ups. That's really the truth, isn't it? This is a little bit beyond or outside of their normal purview for publishing. This is called Time Avenger. Check out that amazing PS1 era intro. I mean, the music sounds pretty fondly epic, and yeah, the, uh, you'd be mistaken for thinking this is actually not a problem because this is a remake. No, no, no. This was a game made fairly recently. It's not a PlayStation 1 game by any stretch of imagination. And in fact, like I said, the game is called Time Avenger. But it's actually gone by another name over here in EU and the United States. It's a Eternal Blade. Yep, this game's already been out for a while here on the PlayStation Network. You can check it out anytime you want. Eternal Blade, it has a couple of different bundles, and I've actually taken a look at it to see what was inside it. I noticed this. The costumes. They're just ripping off other costumes from other games. And applying for the kink. Well, at least they have one thing on their side. These are actually pretty some badass uh, profile images for your uh, avatar, but this is worthless. <laughs> Eternal Blade has been out for a while. Why do we care? Why would you care about this? Well, the reason why is because there is actually a full demo of the first stage of Eternal Blade available for you to play on the PlayStation Network in Japan under the name of Time Avenger. I can understand why they probably never released this demo in the <laughs> EU and America because it would put off a fair amount of players probably just being able to play this a little bit and not getting to understand the rest of it. Now, Fredja or Frigia or Fredja Whatever the hell the name of the main character is, it's just murdered a random little moblin. We didn't, he didn't deserve it. He didn't deserve any of that violence upon him. So whatever she's saying, I don't care. She's already a villain. We're playing as the villain in this piece. That's what I care about. Now, the combat in the game is pretty easy to play. It's intuitive. It's a combo-rific. It has up downs and it has plenty of kind of um, skilled attacks that you can work with. Uh, it, it's it's simple and. Destructive and it kind of looks pretty cool of you. I mean, does that look weird to you? It just looks like fun. No, I mean, the fact that we're beating down on guys just mm, doesn't really entertain me too much. I mean, like this, this looks ridiculously simple, but I like my scrolling beat em ups. I told you before, whenever we did Odin Sphere, that this is kind of my bread and butter. But uh, this game has such a a weird feel to it that it. It doesn't seem to gel the character models and the villains and the world. I don't know what this is, really. It's just looking weird to me. No, the music. I have to say I can't even get behind it. I like it, but the, the, the impetuous in the tone doesn't seem to kind of balance out for the combat that's actually happening around you. No, Eternal Blade. Essentially, it's this is just a Japanese action slash him up that just has very static moments like this where things just stop why like why would you do a moment like that just before a cutscene like this well here we go we're actually introduced to the main villain of the game which like to be honest looks like Avenger out of the Dungeons and Dragons TV show and it's about as powerful and does exactly the same thing just sums up monsters for you to fight so we're essentially playing as just the uh, the, not the ranger, but the the warrior subclass from Dungeons and Dragons, the, the fighter. Let's <laughs> see how well it can work. Now, him standing there blocking off our path. I'm assuming we're going to do exactly what we just did and have the wall pillars blocking us off when we just beat off wave after wave of these little soldier men. Yep, again. Come on. Yeah, boom, 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 boom. Go down. Now... It doesn't feel too difficult to actually take these guys down. It just seems to be like I uh, take a lot more than necessary hits. Um, I'm not concerned about this fight going on for too long, so we just get it out of the way. Huh, good. There we go. Problem solved. Now, our Avenger villain guy, he's overly, obviously overpowered. He knows what he can do. He can just take us out anytime. Boom. See? Instantly, we're defeated, right? But no, we have our own dungeon master who will guide us in the world of dungeons and dragons and time travel. <laughs> the main thing about Eternal Blade is that the Eternal, Eternal, is Eternal. 
It is reversing time. It has control over time. She's just giving us tips on how to actually use it now. So we've been sent back to the previous battle that we just had. And this time, he's decided to stick around, has he? <laughs> oh, right. So the fact that we aren't there in the battle yet means that he actually ignores us and moves on. We were just apparently too fast in the first attempt. We actually got there before he could bugger off. And now we have the ability to reverse time, which is the skill of the blade. This, this is where we get to the Metroid-y stuff. And some of the back plot for our well-destroyed family and home and why we're on our quest. Yeah, can, we'll get out in the narrative and then we can get on to the actual using the powers and skills that we've just been given. Yep, yep. Don't understand any of this. Just know there's a mana bar. Just know there's a recharge function. Keep on scrambling through. I actually like the design of our um, dungeon mistress leader. Like, I, her mask is kind of interesting. I don't know, uh, was it Vernia or Verania or whatever it is? It's, it's kind of like, it's a very eyes wide shut kind of mask. <laughs> that's, that's the only thing it looks like. Boom. Slap him down, slap him down, slap him down. Do we even need to worry about using our time control now? No. We just pummel everything. <laughs> it doesn't even matter if I miss that much. He just stands there. Boom, 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 boom. Down you go. Bye bye. Right. So now we're trying to actually get across this platform. So we have like a dash attack that we can do. And I'm trying to think about if I can time it. There we go. And go across and boom. Hit my little extra wee bonus. And immediately walk into a boss. <laughs> oh my god, it's Shumagorath! For those of us that are actually out there, the chronophilia or chronoronophilia is a desire to be fucked by a plant in a terrible, terrible way. This plant is going to be fucking with us now for a period of time. It's just, it's a bit grotesque, but it's kind of like it comes out of absolutely nowhere as well. It's like a mini boss, but um, we we'll just kick its ass. Should be fine. Boom. Come on. Punch, 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 punch. Go down. Go down, ass fuck. If we just keep on looping our combos so we keep on putting ourselves in the air, we'll only get hit occasionally by someone. Down you go. See? That monstrosity just disappeared and got out of our way. And moving on swiftly. Oh, right. So we're, we we're meant to go down underneath there rather than actually going over. Either way, doesn't matter. We just skipped a whole section of it. It's alright. It's alright. Spike trap. The, the idea of putting a spike trap there is like very Scooby-Doo-esque because it's the one object that was a different color than everything else on the ground. We know it's the thing that's going to move. <laughs> so, what have we got here? Platform that goes up, goes up, right? And a save point. Because you need a save point in a demo, I suppose. Aha! We meet again, plant man! Let us kick your booty again! Yeah. Go down. Stay down. Come on, you gotta... It's just the fact that I feel like I should be able to take this thing down a little bit faster than I did the last time. Go on, stay down. Oh. It's the face is just creepy looking at you, just groaning at you. And we're on. Right. Bring down the walls. Bring down the walls. Bring down the walls. Right. Yeah, yeah. Get your death animation out of the way. Let's move on. Come on. Come on. We got work to do here, gamers. Come on. Okay. Um. Right. That moves in a very tiny circle. <laughs> no way we're going to be able to get down to that in time. Yeah. Are you meant to go up here? Nah. I'm assuming this has to be something to do with the um, mechanics of time control because there's nothing I can do right now to stop this. <sighs> yeah. Okay, this is going to drive me around the bend. Can I get onto this platform or not? Alright. No. No. Okay. Nope. Screw that. Oh. Right. Well, fight this guy again. <laughs> Well, I don't notice that this time the walls haven't come up, so I said you have destroyed the wall. I can just ignore him and walk on if I felt like it. 
Eh, he's easy XP. <laughs> oh, so yeah, I completely forgot about that. This game has an RPG element in it where you actually level up and level down. Whenever you take down enemies like this, they drop yellow orbs, and yellow orbs will, of course, be the XP. Blue orbs being um, mana, red orbs being health. As you can see, my red bar is starting to go down slowly in this, but. Yeah. Die. Just die. Already. We don't need to worry about you. Boom. There you go. So, are we going this way? Hmm. I'm going to backtrack here to find out if I miss on. Menu screens in Japanese. That's a problem. At least I know how much health, MP, and whatever else I have. Nothing I can do in there. Uh, let's fall down here and take a look. Down you go, soldier. Boom. He just launched his ass around. <laughs> Oh, that was a normal one of those spike traps that popped up. Alright, that popped up. Was there a hole underneath it? Boom! Alright. Oh, nope, nothing there. It's just a hole in the... <laughs> it's just a flat spot in the ground. Alright. Click! Down you go! All right, so we're actually seeing a new enemy type, at least finally. Die, bird people! Is this just, just a flying head with big flappy ears? I will kill you all. Yep. Oh, 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 oh! God, get out of that! No, get out! Get out! Wow. Okay. Well, um, hmm. After all of that beating down, it's very, very simple to die in this game. This shall not be the end of our avenging. Let's do it an instant replay. Take it back to the beginning top and ready, Charlie. Finally, we have gained the ability to do things with our time powers. <laughs> Let's see what we can actually use this for. Um, I'm assuming it's actually going to be for puzzle solving more than anything else. This time, it's actually spikes. So, the way it works, anything that actually is flashing green, you can use your time powers on and it'll affect them, uh, matter on how you reverse them. So now I managed to get those to separate in sync. So now I can get to that corner without worrying about getting killed. All right, sweet. Now we need to get back. Um, ow. Eh, whatever, that was close enough. More of the same, the same, the same, 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 the same. Hey! And now we're past all of the same. We can move on to something else a little bit more different. <laughs> okay. And again, a second little puzzle here that uses the same kind of time mechanics that we've seen so far. All right. Okay. It goes down. It goes down slowly. And by the magic of time control, we rise. <laughs> Moving on very quickly. Ugh, finally. I think we're actually almost starting to approach the end of this one. Because we've actually seen a couple of checkpoints now, and now we've got another one right in front of us, and then our meeting with our lady of control and time, the, the timekeeper, the time warrior, whatever, whatever the hell she is. The lady with the big spear and the mask and the whole eyes wide shut thing. I mean, if she's actually rumping back and forth between a swingers party, I mean, I'm amazed that she bothers to put on her clothes again. Oh, hello there, smoky guy. You've got a lot of little things hanging from you. Oh, hang on, let me translate this. <laughs> I am evil. <laughs> you are evil. I must fight you. There we go. That's all we need to know about the plot, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, this dude's got a lot of balls. So many balls. All of the balls. Well, essentially, what I can do is actually stop him from using all of his balls by using my time. So I'm going to take his balls away from him as many times as I can until my ball-controlling power runs out. Um, 
Yeah, whatever that is. Hurting, hurting, hurting. Punching, punching, punching. Slicing, slicing, slicing. Uh. What the hell? Alright, well, he did some damage there with a nice big explosion, so I should probably not let him use that one again. I'm assuming probably what was meant to happen there was I was meant to actually use my time control to stop him from using particular balls. Um, obviously, I don't know what each one of these do because I have no idea who this guy is, what he does, or what he represents. But I'm not going to let him use the white one again. That's 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 my rule of thumb now. Just don't let him use the white one. Red, fireballs, I imagine that's okay. What are you doing on this? Oh my. Yeah, slam him down. Oh, whoa. I do a lot more damage whenever he's in the middle of casting a spell. So I'm doing booger all damage here. I'm, well, I'm doing marginal damage comparatively. Green. So uh, we've already done this one, so that's whenever he sli flies back and forth. Yeah, he, the damage does actually affect him more whenever he's moving around like that. Eh. Oh, well, I might avoid getting hit, but um, that didn't do me any good. So yeah, I can do more damage to him whenever he's moving like that. Well, he's almost done anyway, so let's just pummel him to death. Ball dude, welcome to die. Oh, okay. Well, maybe not just yet. <laughs> In his last ditch attempt to actually attack me, he's now called summoning a bunch of little dudes. Oh, oh wow, I messed up there. <laughs> so I didn't actually stop them from appearing, all I did was double them. Eh, either way, he's down. But that's an interesting little trick, you can actually spawn more enemies, or... That'd be interesting if you could actually have like enemies who fought each other. Well, I, that man dropped all of his balls, they flew away from him, and whenever he lost his balls, he shattered himself in a massive cataclysmic explosion. He expired himself, I suppose, is the best way to describe it. <laughs> He came too quick, came too hard, and he couldn't come again. Goodbye, ball dude. We will forever remember you. All right. Well, the magical green light of home. Right, so that's stage one cleared. That was the last boss of stage one, which I assume is the end of this demo as well, because I know it's only a one, like a one stage demo. Apparently it took me two minutes to complete. <laughs> so, they give you a ranking and all. Great, I suppose, but... Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Time Avenger, also known as Eternal Blade. I like the art for this tail bit, it's kind of interesting. It works reasonably well. Alright guys, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. This has been another Made in Japan here on Pastiche of Skin. I hope you guys come back and check out another video in the future. I love you, you love me, we love each other, so let's do this again some other time. I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye